Hi everybody, Matthew Fulton with Parkway Business Solutions and QB Community Live, the Facebook group. In the past, I've made quite a few different videos where we demonstrate how to take a QuickBooks Online company file and migrate it back down to QuickBooks Desktop. So in this video, I'm gonna try the process again. We're now in 2023, it's been a couple years since I've done it. So I'm gonna go through, record the process, and let's see if we can get this to continue to work still. So let's dive in and go through this process. The way I found that this works best right off the bat is you're, you need to be in any kind of screen inside the company file, then come up to the gear icon and go to export data. This is gonna ask you why you're doing it, what you're planning to do, and then you wanna come up to the very top here and where it's got this export data at the end, you're gonna change that over to export, uh, export QBO data to QBDT. Make sure you've got all set up in there, hit enter. And then this will populate a brand new screen which you can't get to any other way. From there, what ends up happening is it's gonna ask you if you have downloaded a tool or not yet uh, that allows you to do this. It's a little widget that basically a JavaScript or whatever that makes it easy for this to be done. So you have to install the, um, this adapter piece of migration tool to make this work. You also need to have QuickBooks Desktop there. So I've got Setup EXE, come into here, of course, showing the folder, and this is a new computer, so I haven't installed it on this one yet. Come in and we'll go run. I always do run as admin. Say yes. Boom. Computing the requirements. Okay, next. And you should read through all of this, of course. Accept, do a complete, and install. Now, I know this isn't the exciting part, but I found that when I make this video, if I don't show this step by step by step, some people can kind of get lost through it because it's frustrating and it doesn't always work in every single environment. So we'll go finish now. So once we've got all this stuff in, we're gonna click continue. This is where you get to choose what data is it that you're looking to export at this point in time. So from here, we can choose all financial data, which is going to be with all the transactional information, or if you're just looking for it to be, you know, just the, the data without transactions. So list balance and it gets, it gets condensed and shrunk. Um, I basically always do all financial data. And then you're going to go click continue. So it looks like we've done this in the past because we'll usually do a backup for clients to be on the safe side. So because I've done that, it's saying, hey, you've already got one that's up here. Do you want to use that other one? And we're going to say start over because I want to do something all brand spanking new. Gives me a warning saying, hey, customer credit card information would not be exported as well, which it should not be. And then it's going to give me the email address and such that I want this to go to. So I will click continue. So from here, now you've got a little bit of a waiting game. Depends on how big your file is, how long it's gonna take, so forth, for you to then take that information and you'll be able to download a QuickBooks desktop version of the file. Now keep in mind, before you do this process, you, you wanna make sure that as much of your data is as clean as possible. So you should have all of your accounts reconciled. You should be pulling up reports, um, you know, accrual-based reports up to the last period of time. So hopefully you're doing it at end of year, but whatever the period is, month, quarter, whatever, uh, make sure everything's reconciled, cleaned up all the way to the point. No transactions should be just chilling in the banking area because that stuff wouldn't transfer. Uh, you want to make sure customer list, vendor list, chart of accounts, any of that kind of stuff is cleaned up as much as possible because it just makes the, when it's coming in, it's going to be that much better. I'll put a link uh, in the video below to where there's kind of a checklist of things that do migrate over and things that don't. So it's, there are certain aspects of the accounting that won't come down, especially if you have things like with longer names. That's one of the biggest limitations, of course, across it. There's also things like locations wouldn't come across, classes you need to be careful with, tags, of course, wouldn't. You know, features that are only in online are not going to, of course, go to desktop. So I'm going to pause this now. When we get the other part of it, I'll come back to this video and we will add the rest on. One day later. All right, I'm back. Now it's time to do the rest of that process. Now, 
actually, while I was waiting through this, I never received that email, that update information I was waiting for to figure out when we could do this next phase of it. And I learned something myself out of this I'm going to share with you. Basically, when you go through this, if you don't get an email right away, again, you're going to go back in, get back to your export to QBO data to QBDT. Go through this process again. And you'll remember in the last part where it said, hey, you already have a file ready. Would you like to use this one? So I'm going past this stuff. You already did this. You can see the date of when it was ready. So the last time we did this, it literally took them less than an hour to process this information for it to be ready to be downloaded. Uh, for some reason, just didn't get the email. So if you run into that kind of challenge, you're not getting a notification on the dashboard and so forth, go through this process, go back, look at that date, and that should help you. So before we do this next step, which is going to be the click to download, what I always try to do is I've got my QuickBooks desktop migration tool pulled up because it's going to ask us where the path file is for this, right? And then you're going to have QuickBooks desktop open, but not a company file open, just sitting here pending waiting. Super, 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 super important, okay? So we'll go continue to download. Now it's going to give us the QB XML file, download it. They've gotten pretty big, good with this. If it's a really big file, that download may take some more time and that window sometimes shrinks too small and you don't see everything so it looks like it's not doing stuff. So you may have to expand it, but try to be patient with it, okay? Now we're going to go continue and it's giving you kind of the steps through this. So what we're going to do, we know it's in our download port. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to go browse to my downloads. That'll be this company file. Do not change the naming on it at all at the beginning of this, okay? Click open, and then you're gonna go import. Where do you wanna save all this? To be safe, I'm gonna create a new folder, and I'm just gonna call it QuickBooks Desktop. And I forgot the queue, but that works the same. So now you can name it whatever you want. So this one, you're going to put the company name on. Hit save. And it's going to start to go through this process. You should see a uh, pop-up here. QuickBooks already has a company file open if you want to open another file. Okay, so if you run into this, you need to go through file, exit back out. I've seen where this kind of gets stuck and glitchy for some reason. Close all the way out of it again. I'll go back and open up my QuickBooks again. See how it's like flickering and stuff like that? This means it's actually starting to do the process. So it says DD's at the top here. It's going to now ask because of the web connector, will you allow, are you going to allow it to do this? Yes, whenever this company file is open, say continue. Um, and I always click this off at the bottom as well just to make sure it's getting access to everything. Circle, nice. Finally, they made a bigger circle so you can actually see what it's doing. All right, so we're getting to the very last little bit here. Um, having the migration tool up, of course, is great. It tells you the percentage of completion, so you get a better idea. They've definitely improved this process, making it easier to know where you're at in each of the steps. Yay, successfully. We're going to click Done. So why would you be doing this? Um, as an accountant, this is one of the things that, you know, if, if we're offboarding a client from uh, our services, we always try to do a last export to desktop to give them a copy of it. And then we also keep a copy to be on the safe side, it, you know, in case any historical changes, so forth, get made. We've got a safety net to show the work that we've basically done. So I'm going to come back in here. We'll go to Account Center. And we should be able to see we've got different accounts, so forth. 
Um, again, you would be going over to your reporting center and you should immediately start running uh, company financials, a profit and loss, as well as a balance sheet, both accrual based. Uh, privacy of information, I'm not going to do that part right now, but you get the concept of it. So this process is definitely, it's been made a lot easier to get through. Still works in 2023. Uh, please do me a favor. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below. I'll keep track and try to get back to you and answering. I am definitely, I'm using a Chrome web browser. Uh, it's not necessarily going to work in uh, the Microsoft Edge. I've heard there's issues with Firefox as well, so you want to make sure you've got the right browser. And then, of course, you need to have a newer version of QuickBooks Desktop to be able to pull it into. I was using QuickBooks Desktop Accountant, but it can be just, you know, the normal desktop and just newer version. It can't be too far back where it was sunsetted, if you will. So hopefully this video is helpful showing you how you can export from QuickBooks Online to QuickBooks Desktop in 2023. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you're notified about future videos as we release them. If you've got more questions on this specifically, add them in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer back to you as quick as possible. And if you haven't already, uh, check out our Facebook group, QB Community Live. It's a group full of bookkeepers, accountants, tax professionals, office managers, based on the idea of finding answers for people, technical support around QuickBooks accounting, where you can go in and get great answers from people who are actually using this stuff every single day. Thanks again for watching, and as always, here's wishing you all a very successful week.